Hey guys, how are we doing today? My name is Jay Mac. Today we're back in another video, back in another box. I mean, today we have got uh, Bruin, no, well, I don't know, 23, 24 Upper Deck Bruins 100 Centennial box. Not even hobby, I don't think. They only make one kind of box, but um, yes, it is the Bruins 100th season in the NHL. Boo, sorry. Um, <laughs> So we're going to open this today. Um, it's 105 cards per box. I believe it's 105 card set. Um, but you can get autographs in these. I think they're 1 in 10 boxes. Uh, yeah, autograph parallels are 1 in 10 boxes. Um, base set parallel cards are 4 in 1. Uh, yellows are 3 in 1. The golds are 1 of 1 in 1. Uh, and then you got a Bean Town Classic card, which are in each box. So nothing too fantastic. I think what I'm going to do is put this at the end of a video. So if I s feel weird, um, I'll do that. But uh, I'm going to be carefully opening this box because I'm going to keep it. But um, yeah, without further ado, obviously we're looking for a great auto. Um, you can get Bork, you can get Orr. Uh, I believe Bergeron has signed cards in here as well. Um, you got... Um, Wow, Sergey Samsonov, he signed cards. I'm pretty positive. Um, I think Brad signed cards in here. Uh, Pasenak has as well. Uh, Paye Thornton, uh, Cheevers, I believe, has signed in this too. Um, Neely has. So we're looking for a good name in here. So that's obviously all we want. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get right into the Bruin Centennial box. All right, I did a... Good job keeping this uh, under wraps, though. Ooh, look at that. So that's the, um, this is what it looks like. All right, so that actually looks kind of cool. So there's the uh, there's the pack, I guess you could say. And uh, here's the box. I'm 100% keeping that, so that's staying with me. Um, all right, so we have this here, and I really like the look of these cards. These are cool. Yeah, Eddie Shore right on the front there. So let's go ahead and open this up. And obviously we're looking for an auto. That would be most substantial here, but um, it's a long shot. One in every 10 boxes. So um, that's over a thousand cards uh, until you get an auto. So, But that's not even guaranteed either. So who knows? But we're just going to kind of, um, I guess we'll start like with a little bit of like a quarter way mark here so we're gonna start off with gary cheevers um card sorry let me just fix that there we go start off with the jerry cheevers card it has the bruins logo in the back from when they wore it so obviously this was in the 20s and 30s so they had this as their main logo in that and just as the next one pj axelson has that one in the back but there's the base and there is the back it shows five years of stats i'm assuming it's their last five years with um the team and it shows their total stats here so uh, 279 minutes or uh, points for sure and almost 1100 uh, penalty minutes so and he had one power play goal within that five years so um, yeah obviously not a big point getter but uh, was definitely an impact on the team so he's from Saskatchewan born in 1902 obviously at a shore it's not around with us anymore so rest in peace to him but these are going to be super cool to look back on I'm very excited to see these so has the lace little centennial badge there these are super cool I'm going to try not to hurt these as much as I can but start off again with a PJ Axelson so we have a PJ there so um, as you can see the logo changed within like the 90s to the 2000s so there's a PJ Axelson played a long time with the Bruins there um, I think he's in our scouting system now he's in the Bruins Swedish scouting system PJ Axelson so he's been uh, still working for the team even though he's not on the team anymore so yeah the early 90s and 2000s he played with the team so there's a PJ Axelson Marco Sturm is the next one he played short with the team but I remember his last year with the Bruins when he scored the winter classic game winner against Philadelphia in 2010 uh, off a great pass I believe it was a pass from Bergeron I might not be correct though but great pass in front just a tap in to go by Brilia Brisgolov I believe it was Brisgolov at the time um, it was either him or Brian Elliott but uh, so there's a Marco Sturm that's my biggest uh, memory from him you got Gwen yeah Gwen yeah Glenn Wesley, so he played with the team for a little while, uh, Glenn Wesley. I'll try not to talk too much about these, but just as much as I know about them, but there's a Glenn Wesley there. We got a Bill Ranford there when he had two stints with the Bruins there. There's Bill Ranford. There's the man there, number four, Bobby Orr, one of the greatest defensemen to ever play. So there's a great 
uh, moment from him. 888 points in 631 games in a shortened career. He obviously only played to 92-93 with the Bruins, and then he was traded to... Um, Wait, am I thinking of Bobby Orr? I might be wrong. I'm going to shut my mouth before I say something stupid, but... Um, 92-93. Didn't he play somewhere else afterwards? I don't think so. I'm going to stop before I sound stupid, so... There's a Bobby Orr there. There's a Mike Knubel. That's an interesting one. Played with the Leafs for a while. Um, played with the team for a few years, but... Uh, yeah, Mike Knubel's a very interesting one, so there's that. Brian Ralston, uh, back when they had the uh, Pooh Bear jerseys, so that's awesome there. There's uh, Brian Ralston. Uh, Terry Sawchuck, of course, he was an absolute legend for the Bruins for a couple of years and played for a bunch of different teams too, so there's that. Derek Sanderson, of course, he challenged the, I think, Toronto or Montreal bench and wanted them all to fight him, so there's that. Mark Recchi, the assistant captain, went out on top, won the Cup in 2011 with the Bruins and finished his career there, so... There is that. He's um behind the bench for Philly, I think, now. I think it's Philly, but I might be wrong. But uh, there's that. Steve Casper. That's an interesting name there. Not a lot of people know about Steve Casper. Oh, that's interesting. There's a Jake DeBrus. So shows the um Centennial logo there for Jake DeBrus. So that's very nice there. So there's Jake. He's been on a dry spell recently. So there's Jake. Adam Oates, classic. He was a great defender. Played for Washington as well and a couple other teams on along the way. But there's an Adam Oates there. Tim Thomas, the uh, crease crasher himself. He was very aggressive when he played goalie. So there's Tim Thomas and... Uh, yeah, very interesting there. The Chief, Johnny Busick, very nice to see Chief there. Gord Kluzak, that's nice. Uh, he does commentary now for radio, I believe. Um, he either does or did. So um, there's Gord Kluzak. Uh, Randy Burridge, I don't know too much about Randy Burridge, but played for a few years. Don Sweeney, obviously the GM of the Bruins now, so there's that. There's Donnie Marcotte, John Wensick, Mark Savard, uh, shortened career there because of Matt Cook. Thanks a lot. Uh, and then we got a Ken Hodge, an absolute legend for the Bruins. Uh, Ed Westfall there. Uh, Tory Krug, he's on St. Louis still. So there's Tory Krug, played nine years with the Bruins. I remember when he broke. I remember when he broke into the league and he started his career off in the playoffs against the uh, Rangers in 20. 13. That's kind of when he really showed up. He started in 2011, but he never really played. But there's a Tory Krug there. There's a Greg Shepard. There's my guy, David Postonok, of course, one of my favorite players of all time. So there is that. Brian Leach in his short stint with the Bruins um, after they wanted to make a weird run that never worked. But um, Brian Leach, obviously, way more known for his time in New York with the Rangers. So there's that. Ken Linesman, way back in the day. There's a Ken Linesman. There's a Ray Bork right there. Ray Bork obviously never won a cup in Boston, but finished off strong in Colorado so there's that Charlie Coyle obviously a present there uh Joe Juno that's an interesting one I know when he played in Washington he was uh more well known there so there's a Joe Juno Charlie McAvoy obviously a current Kyle McLaren uh very brute uh type player there Rick Middleton, that's a good one. Retired jersey, he's no longer with us. Rest in peace, Rick Middleton. Uh, Jean Rattel, that's an interesting one. Barely even remembered he played for the Bruins, so that's interesting there. Lionel Hitchman, one of the first Bruins to ever have his number retired. Uh, Ward number two. So there is a Lionel Hitchman there. Got ourselves another pack here, or another pile here. Jerry Cheever is one of the best goalies in Bruins history, of course. It's to revolutionize the mask. He has the evolution of the mask there. So there's Jerry Cheever's. Andy Moog, he was a very interesting goalie. He played pretty well. Um, has Linus Olmark's number, but look at that helmet. That helmet is just insane. So Thomas has ripped his helmet a few times, but... There's that. Uh, Brad Park, of course, he's an absolute legend. Not for the Bruins, mostly. He was traded, I believe, to New York at one point, but there's that. <laughs> Mike Milbury, the uh, the shoe man himself, Mike Milbury, who might beat someone up with a loafer, so there's that. Hampus Lindholm, obviously, current Bruin. Steve Hines, um, don't really know too much about Steve Hines, but yeah, I had a short stint with the Bruins there. Sergei Samsonov, one of my favorite Bruins when I first started watching him with Sergei. He was very good in the uh, face off dot great defensive forward so there's that there's a charlie simmer then we got a billy garen he played with a lot of teams it was very effective on all of them so i remember him playing in boston and dallas so there is that hal gill that's an interesting one i remember him more from montreal but there's a hal gill that's a great one ed johnston there 
Uh, we got a Dave Christian, uh, Jacob Walco. So you must get most of the Bruins' current players. So there's that. There's Razor, Andrew Raycroft, uh, Leafs fan. Sorry about that. But yeah, Andrew Raycroft, rookie of the year at one point. So there's that. Brian Prope uh, card there. So there's Alinas Olmar, current cab, Bruins goalie. Bobby Carpenter there, hand played in the 90s, late early 90s. Butch Goring, look at that helmet. Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable. Played one year with the Bruins in 1985, but what is that? It looks like he's wearing a, like a swimmer's hat or something, but there's that. That's super cool. Dallas Smith, don't know too much about him, but I've heard him a lot. Alan Peterson, uh, Roji Vachon, uh, Byron Defoe actually was pretty decent with his time with the Bruins. He didn't play long, but there's that. Ken Hodge Jr., of course, he played with us. Paul Coffey is an interesting one because he was uh, traded halfway through the year to the Bruins. Um, that's a very interesting one. Not a lot of people know that Paul Coffey played for half a year there. Um, so there's that. Uh, we got Rick Nash uh, from 2018, that weird trade that never worked out. We gave up Ryan Lindgren for him, so... There's that. Phil Esposito, an absolute legend there. So there's Philly Esposito. Reed Larson. Uh, don't know too much about Reed, so there's that. Uh, and then we all know about him. Willie O'Ree, uh, the first African-American player to play in the NHL. So there's a Willie O'Ree there. Milan Lucic, uh, we won't talk about him right now too much. He's in a little bit of trouble, but there's that. Uh, Don Ari, uh, Teddy Donato, uh, he played for a while with the Bruins and a Glenn Murray. I just remember his call against uh, Montreal when, uh, who was it? Uh, Mike Ribeiro had the um, the flop, right? He had the uh, dive and Glenn Murray was able to steal it and poke one through, but they didn't win that series, but very memorable moment for me for Glenn, uh, for this um, Glenn Murray. So with that goal, so there's that. All right, and the last stack here. So hopefully we get something uh, noteworthy, which I don't even remember looking for like golds. So we're going to go and take, pay attention a little bit. Zidane Chara, obviously the captain of the Bruins for a while. He's one of my favorite players. So there's that. Uh, Tom Fergus here. We got a Johnny Boyd, Chuck, Johnny Rocket himself. That's cool. Rajon Lemonin, Lemolin. There we go. Rajon Lemolin. There we go. Uh, Jeremy Swayman, obviously current backup. Dick Clapper. Um, I think he has a number retired with the Bruins, number five. So there's a Dick Clapper. Pavel Zaka, obviously current Bruin there. Bob Beers, he does um, commentary for Bruins Radio now. Norm Leviel, I believe. Uh, I don't know too much about him, but only played a couple years. Jumbo Joe, until he got traded off to San Jose, unfortunately. But there is a Jumbo Joe. Very nice to see that there. Joseph Stumple, I didn't even know he played for the Bruins. That's very interesting. He had two stints with the Bruins. That's interesting. Did not know Joseph Stumple played for us. That's weird. Uh, Dan Paye managed the fourth line for a few years. Jason Allison was a great addition to the Bruins team. Wayne Cashman, obviously, he has his number retired with the Bruins as well. Harry Sinden, so I don't know who this is. Um, it shows him in a jacket. That's very interesting. Um, played a few years. Oh, he's a goalie. Okay. That's weird. I don't know why it shows him a picture in a suit, but maybe it's a variation. I, I honestly have no idea. Uh, Dave Forbes. Okay, that's an interesting one. Al Secord. That's an interesting one as well. Bob Sweeney, of course. We all know who Bob Sweeney is. Craig Janney. That's an interesting one. He was uh, a weirdly good goal scorer for a team that wasn't really scoring a lot, so there's a Craig Jandy. Keith Crowder, that's a good one. Sean Thornton um, just ran around with his head caught off most of the time, so uh, I'll never forget when he knocked out James Neal. Uh, totally uncalled for, but there's that. Andy Brickley, he does color commentating with Jack Edwards, so there is that. Uh, Terry O'Reilly, an absolute legend for the Bruins, also has his number retired with the team, so there is that. Uh, and then we have a Cam Neely. Of course, he is running the front office. He's the president of the Bruins. So there's that. Jacques Plante, uh, again, re revolutionized the game with um, his uh, with his goaltending tendencies. So there's a Jacques Plante. Uh, Brad Marchand, obviously Jacques Plante wasn't more known to be a Bruin, but he did play for a little while with them. Uh, Brad, of course, he's still with the team for a while now. Bergeron shows him retired in 2023. Boo-hoo, that's so sad. Uh, what else we got? Dave Reed, Chris Nyland, Knuckles Nyland. Yeah, he was a fighter, man. That's all I really remember about Knuckles is that he was a true fighter, so... There's a Knuckles Nyland. Matt Grizzlick, of course. Uh, we got a few more cards here until we get to the big one. Connor Clifton, obviously not with the team anymore. He's in Buffalo, so there is that. Whoa, okay, so that's a yellow version. Okay, so a Rick Nash yellow. So the yellows were uh, one in one. I think they were one in every one pack. So 
Um, this one has also, so there was three and one. The yellows were three and one. Okay. Uh, so we have a Rick Nash yellow. We got a Philly Esposito yellow. So that's a really good one to get. And a Willie O'Ree yellow. So also another good one to get. So there's your yellows. We have a Centennial insert and it is of the chief himself. Johnny Busick. There's Bean Town Classics there. Um, so this one is a gold spectrum. So it looks like we didn't get an auto unless the gold spectrum is. But let's go ahead and see what we got in here anyways. And the gold spectrum is number 12. Randy Burridge, okay, that's a name I didn't expect to see in here. Randy Burridge, gold spec, or this is uh, the, uh, where's the box, hold on. It's some kind of spectrum, and I forget what it is. It is a gold spectrum, right? Yeah, so the these ones are the yellow, and then this one's the gold spectrum. So a Randy Burridge gold spectrum. Um, I don't remember him too much from when he played with the Bruins, but he played for, for them with five years, or six years. I apologize, six years. But um, had two thirty, two twenty three. So he was a very uh, eh player. I mean, put up points, but he was selected in the eighth round. Uh, steady offensive presence for the Bruins, recording at least 30 points in four of the six seasons he played in Boston. So there's a Randy Burridge. I feel like he's around still. I just don't remember where. But there is a Randy Burridge gold spectrum along with the other ones as well to end off the Centennial box. This is definitely going to be its own video at this point. All right, guys, there is a box of Upper Deck 2324 Bruins 100 Centennial. And I won't go over all the base, obviously, but we can just go over that we have the yellow Rick Nash, which is super weird because it's like kind of just a imprint there. So the yellow Rick Nash, the yellow Phil Esposito, the yellow Willie O'Ree, and then we have the Beantown Classics of the Chief, Johnny Busick himself, and then we have the gold spectrum of Randy Burridge. So very interesting here. I mean, I would have loved to have gone to Nato, but out of 10 boxes, that's pretty tough. So thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, have fun, and um, I'm keeping all this, by the way, just to let everybody know.